together with our custom made dresses that are made here in shop, we also sell other designers as well. When you have an appointment, we stay right on the schedule. You, know, you have about an hour to an hour and 30 minutes. All the appointments are free. Some salons do charge a fee. Custom made dresses are more for those brides who already have an idea of the, what they want to look like. When they share their ideas with us, we could put them together into a design and do a custom made dress for them. And then from there, we can translate it back to uh, certain different kinds of lace and different patterns and different beadwork and fabric as well. It's usually better when a bride comes in and she tells me what her ideas are and gives me pictures of more of a theme and a feeling rather than a picture of an actual bridal gown. A lot of the times brides will come in with an idea in their head that they, they think they will look good in, um, but without trying on that dress, you wouldn't really know what shape fits you best. Everything revolves around the dress. It's the color of the flowers, the table arrangements. It's the most important dress they'll ever wear in their life and that's why it becomes the most important part of the wedding. With our custom-made dresses, they start off in the 2500 range. With this, you don't need to pay for alterations because everything is done from scratch. For example, I think a pear-shaped girl, so a little smaller on top, bigger on the bottom. An A-line would suit them. Usually, girls that are a little bit more on the busty side, I find that V-neck dresses with straps that come out um, a little further out balances their top with their bottom. So with their bottom, they can either wear a trumpet skirt or they can even do, e even go with the A-line route. A mermaid style, so it's tight all the way through to about their knee or their thigh and it flares out, so it gives them a more shapely look. A sheath dress, that's for women that have more of a boyish figure. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend a short bride wear, wear a very big ball gown. Now we do custom veils that are very simple. I have some brides that come in and they are shoe lovers and they want to make absolutely sure whatever dress they get will go with a certain pair of shoes they want to wear for their wedding day. We had to phase out our more expensive dresses because we're, we are noticing that brides are coming in with a tight budget. Brides that are more environmentally conscious would buy our samples off of the store rather than getting a brand new dress. A bridesmaid's dress ranges from about $130 to $300, so it is significantly cheaper. There are some that actually like their dresses. They'll come in to get their dresses shortened so that they can they can wear it as a party dress again. They'll give them a color and they'll just tell them, hey, you know, go through the jasmine line and whatever dress you want, pick whatever dress you want as long as it's in this same color story. So those are, those are usually the bridesmaids that pick dresses that they'd wear again. More commonly, the bridesmaids pay for their own dresses. And sometimes the bride herself will pay for her bridesmaids dresses because they feel that these are the dresses that I want them to wear, so I should buy it for them. I think having your bridesmaids wear a dress that they already have as opposed to buying a new one is a great idea. When a bride comes for a, her appointment, she should keep in mind that she is not the, the only customer that will be at the shop. So keeping the number of her guests to a minimum is best and every single person has their own opinion of the dress. Usually they don't buy a dress right away. They can't make a decision right away. I've had brides that come to our salon and they've been to about six different salons before making their decision. But what I would suggest for a bride is to go to at least three different salons. This is a really important decision and nobody should rush you into purchasing the most important gown that you'll be wearing. Recently it's becoming more popular that the groom actually comes with the bride and helps her pick out her dress. If the husband is coming to pick their dress, it's usually the husband that pays for their dress. We have some wedding planners that will call 
for an appointment. What should the bride take with her? Um, should she have her shoes? How many people are allowed in? Mm -hmm. Katie, can you come over and help me show them the different skirt shapes and the fullness of them? Okay, so we'll start off with the first dress. This is the ball gown. And this is also good for those girls that are a little bit on the hippier side. And this one, the third dress. So if you want to show off a little bit more of your curves. So this one, the fourth dress, this is actually a mermaid cut. It has the same shape as a trumpet, except this one cuts lower. Really tall, slender women. This now is a sheath style have more of like a boyish figure, more straight figure. This is an empire cut. There is the natural waist and there is also the drop waist. This is to show the customers what fabrics that they can choose from. So we have some organzas and we have some taffetas, some satins and chiffons. So there's a whole range of different fabrics to choose from. 